Hi, I'm Katie, and here is this week's Galco Industry News Update. This week, we're talking about robots taking over jobs, edible electronics, and industrial drones. thousand people have lost their jobs to robots. Foxconn, the largest contract electronics manufacturer in the world, cut 60,000 jobs at once by automating one of its largest factories with robots. Foxconn says it's all part of an ongoing process to replace humans responsible for many of the manufacturing tasks associated with operations with robots. The robots are being used to replace repetitive tasks previously done by employees. Automation is quickly becoming a reality for workers of the world's biggest corporations. The rapidly falling costs of purchasing and programming robots are more attractive than retaining human labor. In other words, it's cheaper. The automation process is accelerating fastest in factories overseas. Economists fear short-term fallout, expecting a devastating loss of jobs and economic instability. Foxconn still employs more than 1.2 million people. Well, how about edible electronics? Engineers at Arizona State University have created an edible supercapacitor that can wipe out E. coli or power a camera from inside the body. Research shows that taking foods like activated charcoal, gold leaf, seaweed, egg white, gelatin, barbecue sauce, and even Gatorade, and sandwiching them together actually creates a supercapacitor. These food products can store and conduct electricity, making them useful for electronic applications. Now, fabricating the device requires time and a specific room temperature, low pressure environment, with most of the material combinations done by hand. Eventually, researchers expect the devices to be 3D printed. The team proved that the supercapacitor can kill E. coli and are attempting to kill other bacteria as well. They also proved that a camera could be powered on while in the stomach. As medical applications, these devices could replace procedures like endoscopies with real-time monitoring of the gastrointestinal tract. The goal of edible electronics was to solve some of the problems associated with other bodily electronics. What kind of food products were used for this experiment? Activated charcoal, which is useful as a home remedy, and gold leaf, commonly found in Indian cuisine. This combination was chosen for its high electrical conductivity and chemical stability. Now, if you're wondering what it tastes like, they say cheese. And a partnership is helping industrial drones take flight. Engineering firm Olson Associates and drone manufacturer Dragonfly are partnering on using drones for business and industrial applications. This partnership is just one example of an explosion in industrial drone applications. Drones are attractive because of their potential to expand industrial applications that require line of sight. Using drones for business is rapidly gaining traction. The FAA expects sales of unmanned aircraft systems to grow from 600,000 in 2016 to 2.7 million in 2020. However, more drones in the sky do mean more regulations. Current federal law requires drone operators to be licensed pilots. A major roadblock for businesses keen on utilizing drones for commercial purposes. Under a new proposed law, operators will not need a pilot license for small unmanned aircraft systems. With relaxed regulations, Olson expects to have a drone and operator in every office, allowing them to expand their services with more capabilities. The data collecting potential is perhaps the most exciting prospect for industrial drone use. Combined with specific algorithms, businesses and organizations can use drones to identify unauthorized construction, find pipeline leaks, 3D map areas to obtain precise context for design, and so much more. I guess you could say with drones, the sky's the limit. 
That's it for this week's industry update. Tune in next week for more of the latest news in electronics, automation, and robotics.